Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18Z Hornet. We're looking at using the JDAMs. There are three ways currently to target the JDAM using the Lightning targeting port, using waypoint designation, or using lat long coordinates. We've already got a video showing how to use the Lightning targeting pod to drive the JDAMs and the JSAL. So today we're just looking at the other two options, waypoint designation and lat long coordinate input. The lat long coordinate input system has changed lately, hence I'm redoing this video. It's currently early September 2019. So first of all, a quick reminder of the bombs available. We can have pylons two, three, seven, and eight and we can have a GBU-38, an INS GPS-driven JDAM of 500 pounds. GBU-31, the same, but 2,000 pounds. The 31V-3B, 2,000 pounds again, concrete penetration. And we can have the BRU-55 rack carrying two times GBU-38. So today, to keep things simple, we're gonna take four times GBU-38 per run. The targets consist of eight times APCs that we've got here on the runway. We've got two methods of using these bombs. We can use pre-plan mode or target of opportunity mode. We're gonna use target of opportunity mode to kill these guys here with waypoint designation. And we're gonna use pre-plan mode to kill these guys here with coordinate lat long input. So first of all, let's do our waypoint run. We're gonna get our guy here. We're gonna make the waypoints here in the mission editor just because it's easier add waypoint right on that guy's face there remember to reset the altitude down to zero otherwise they'll be bombing you know the waypoint will be up in the air by 16,000 uh, feet add another one here just put it down to zero and it will find the correct altitude zero oops a little bit off there and put it down to zero okay that's our waypoints put in we're going to save and join the mission. As ever, the first thing we do when we're using JDAMs is autopilot barometric. Press the tango key for auto throttle. It's going to go on there. So we're going to turn our master arm on, our air to ground on. We're going to select our GBU 38 here. And I'm going to pause and cheat there because we can. The first thing to show is that we need to align the bombs. They're currently not aligned. So we need to count this guy down to seven and a half minutes until they're fully aligned. Now I can go and set the bombs up while this is counting down, but I just want to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to fast forward and cheat because I can. I notice our ATC has gone off, so I'll have to reset that in a minute. And this is counting down to a good alignment. Two, one, fully aligned, ready to go. So we're going to use target of opportunity, TOO mode for our waypoint attack, TOO. Our electric fuse is going to be instant. Next, we'll go down to our JDAM display for more options. So we have our release type here. We can use manual. We've got auto loft or flight director. We're going to go for manual. We'll look at these two guys when they're available in another video. Manual. Next, we're going to go to mission. I like to bomb from here. Notice that we get these options. The heading that the bomb will ingress at. The angle, the vertical angle that the bomb will ingress at. The velocity of the bomb in feet per second. And we've already got our delay there. You can change these by pressing TOO UFC and changing that data at currently early September 2019. It's not implemented, but that will be implemented soon. All we've got to do now is designate and drop the bombs. It's incredibly simple how to do this. So all we're going to do is select our waypoint one, weapons designate or waypoint designate. And we can see what we've got some symbology here. These are dynamic ranging cues. Here is the outermost limit of the max dropping range here is the minimum dropping range here is the target and here is us so we can say that we're well within the maximum drop range based on our current speed and altitude we can see that we are in range here that we have manual drop mode selected we have a gbu 38 and we are in target opportunity mode and from our designated target we are 9.6 miles so we're all good to start dropping so because we're going to do a ripple i'm actually going to drop from here but first thing you can see because we've designated you can see that our target of opportunity one for station two has been filled out with those coordinates which is as per our waypoint so all we've got to do to drop is the massive one button we've got to learn today of press weapon release button so we're going to unpause just going to turn our auto throttle back on because it was playing silly buggers earlier on there we go that's better right we're all good to drop so i'm going to go drop 
and target two, designate, drop, and target three, designate, drop, and target four, designate, drop, check barometric hold is still on, check that ATC is still on, we're all good and safe, let's go and watch the bombs. Where are we? There we are, and there's our bombs. Speed up. This guy's about to get a nasty morning. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So, that showed how easy it is to drop a ripple. You can do them one by one, but that was showing dropping a ripple. We're going to reset now, and we're going to go and take the other four targets out via that long coordinates. Okay, we're ingressing again with four new bombs, autopilots, parametric hold as ever. We're going to put our auto throttle on. Tango key, ATC, there we're good. As we've got a new plane, we need mass arm on, air to ground, and we're going to do our alignment again. This time we're going to show that we can set our bombs up while the alignment's going. Before we drop the bombs, we're going to come back and double check that alignment is done. So this time, instead of TOO mode, we're going to go pre-plan mode. Our instant fuse is going to be, uh, sorry, our E fuse is going to be instant again. Over to our JDAM display. So the first thing we want to do when working with pre-plan mode is specify the weapons of the stations we're going to be working with. Quantity. I want to work with stations 2, 3, 7 and 8. Return. Next we're going to do our release type. We're going to go for a manual mode again just to keep it simple. Next we're going to go to our mission. And what we want to do is populate that lat long data and altitude data again like we did. But we can't designate from our waypoint anymore. We've got to add it in manually. So got station 2 selected here we can step through the various stations like thus and we can add in populate data with target UFC here so we've got the pre-planned one mission one selected here which will do automatically because it's box so what we're going to do next is to hop into our F10 menu find the four remaining VIX and we're going to get the uh, coordinates from this way of doing it. So if we look at the top left, you can see the coordinates. Well, that's not in a Hornet-friendly format. Left, Alt, and Yankee to change the format. That's MGRS, Left, Alt, Yankee again. That is... That one there is the one, one we want. We can cycle through all the way through again. We want eight-digit lat, eight-digit long. So that's it there. Hover over that. I'm going to write down now, Northing 26101913, Easting 56. Uh, 142661 with an altitude of 68 feet and I'm going to write down that there, that there and that there. Next we need to go to the cockpit to input this data. So with PP1 selected and station 2 selected we're going to go target UFC, position, latitude, north and if I get to my notepad it is 2610 one nine uh, is that a six or a zero zero I can't even read my own writing enter the um, six digit there and then type in the extra which was one zero enter we've now entered northing two six one zero one nine one zero check that looks good next longitude easting it's going to be a five six one four two six Five, uh, sorry, enter, five, nine, enter. Check that eight digit, looks good. Next is target UFC again. Elevation, feet, 69 feet, enter. Check, that's the first one populated and done. Next, we step to the next station. For this station, we're gonna use PP1 again. So we're going to target UFC, elevation. Step to station 8, PP1, let's go again. Step station 7, PP1, enter the data. Hey, that's all of our data in. It's always wise to check because it's easy to make errors doing this. So, step to 2. Step to three, looking at the data here. Step to eight. 
set to seven. Back to two. Okay, back to two. And we're ready to go bombing. Gonna quickly nip out and just check that our alignment is indeed done. And it is. The alignment's done and we're ready to go. So back to mission. And we are Oscar Mike. Unpause. ATC's on, barometric holds on. Check our distance. This time we're outside because I set the sail further back. We're outside of the maximum range. So we now have a TMR. Time till possible release. Uh, basically, time till maximum range. Uh, we've got manual mode, we've got GBU 38, pre plan mode, ATC, automatic thrust throttle control is on. We've got 13 miles, so we're going to wait. Uh, I like to get a few, good few seconds in to the maximum range before we actually start dropping. I don't like to stress the bombs by making them fly their maximum path because it can cause inaccuracy. So we're now within range to drop in range. We're going to give it a few seconds just to make absolutely sure. Okay, I think we're good. So, station two selected, we're going to drop. Station three uh, dropped as well. Station eight drop. Station seven drop. Okay, that's all our stations dropped. ATC's on. Barometric hold is on. Let's go and follow the bombs. Right, fingers crossed I got those coordinates right. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Pretty cool, right? Not bad. So that was showing, first of all, target of opportunity mode with waypoint designation, then pre-planned mode with eight digit lat long coordinate input. Like I said, if you want to sh uh, see how to drive them from the teapot, then I've got a video on that, obviously. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed that and see you later.